Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel of Virtue Storytime. Today I'll be reading the 4th of July story. He had to practice it first so that when the time came he could read it clearly and not have to stop to spell out the long words. He began. In Congress, July 4th, 1776, a declaration by the representatives of the United States of America. He was only a boy with freckles and sandy hair that had never seen his day in place. No one would have, no one could have guessed that someday he would be the seventh president of the United States of America. In this picture, people had gathered round to listen to the little boy read the newspaper. All this time, while the news was being carried, and for several years after that, the American Revolution, or War of Freedom, went on. General Washington was leading his army. It was a hard war, and sometimes our soldiers were cold and hungry. Sometimes they had to only... Had only ragged clothes to wear, no uniforms, and no shoes for their feet. And many of the soldiers were only boys, 15 years old. Sometimes it seems if, if the British soldiers in their fine red coat, coat would win the war, they won battles and captured towns and cities. When the British were coming to Philadelphia, the Liberty Bell was taken down from its tower. It was hidden under the floor of a church so that no enemy soldiers could find it. The Congress had to move from Philadelphia to another city and another and another. Always, the Declaration of Independence went with them. The Declaration was taken to many different places. Once, it even spent the night at, in a barn. It was a dark and sad time for the United States of America, but some of the countries across the sea in Europe sent help. One day, a young French general named Lafayette landed in America. He brought the news that ships and soldiers were coming from France to join the, America, the Americans their fight for liberty. Even brave General Washington had tears in his eyes when he heard this wonderful news. Soon the French arrived and this helped a great deal. At last the war was over and the United States of America had won it. The battle that decided war was fought in the state of Virginia. And there, on the battlefield of Yorktown, the British surrendered to General Washington. They gave up their flags and put their guns on the ground. When the news reached Philadelphia, the Liberty Bell rang at 3 o'clock in the morning. Not long after this, Britain agreed that the United States had the right to be free and that they were a new nation. As time went on, Britain and America became friends. Many people in Britain had not wanted the war at all. The soldiers went back to their homes and their wives and their children. The Liberty Bell was taken back to its tower in Philadelphia. In this picture, I'm pretty sure that this is the... American Army who are going back home from the war. The states still had not learned to work together as one nation. They needed a strong leader, and so George Washington was chosen by the people to be the first President of the United States of America. John Adams, who had helped with the, 
the Declaration of Independence was the second president. Thomas Jefferson, who had written it, was the third. Independence Day, the 4th of July, became our most important national holiday. Now, the Declaration of Independence is in the city of Washington, where many children and grown-ups go to see it. The Liberty Bell is in a room in Independence Hall in the city of Philadelphia. It is a very old bell, and it's cracked and cannot ring anymore, but still a very wonderful bell, and on it we may read the words, Proclaim liberty throughout all the land, unto all the inhabitants thereof. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more videos.